What is research by Tengku Adil? There are so many ways to define research. However, one of the very common definition is research is a way of finding solution to a problem. We only do research when there is a problem. We only do research to find a problem, uh, to find a solution to reduce the problem or to solve the problem. In research, in academic research, it's a systematic way of doing research. The way we think is the way we plan. That is research. So, what exactly is a research? Research is a systematic process of planning on how we going to get the result, get the answer. You know, it's a systematic process of collecting and analyzing information and data in order to improve our understanding, in order to find a solution, in order to answer our question, to answer some uncertainty question. In research, usually it involves three main stages. Planning, of course, we need to plan what we want to do, what topic we want to research, what is the problem, what is the issue, and what is the research question. And of course, we need to do some data collection. What type of data and how we're going to collect this data. And of course, we're going to analyze this data. This is research. This is a systematic research. So basically, this research is the way of what we want to do, to who we want to do, where, when, and why we want to do it, and how we're going to do it. You know, it's a process of finding an answer to our question that is research that's the definition of research in general however in academic research usually there are some elements such as what is the procedure what are the material involved you know what is the hypothesis in the research what is the research question what is the research objective because research objective and research question must be related because in the end, we find a answer, we find, we collect the data, we analyze the data, we find the result, we get the result to answer our research question. You know, and then of course, we come up with the conclusion. What is the significance of our research? What are the outcomes of our research? And of course, there are few reasons of doing research. First, of course, to understand the field we want to research, we want to study. And then to explain and find answer, you know, to critically examine certain aspect, to make change, to make impact to the society, to make impact to the to the community population, you know, and of course to find answer to a theoretical question. That's research. That's in the way of we doing research in academic research, and of course we do research every day. Sometimes we we didn't know that it was research until we. We are doing it, you know, for example, if we want to buy something, we do uh, online shopping, you know, we search few websites first before we decided what we want to buy. That's a research. That's a process of serving, finding a best price, the best price for our product. That's a research, you know. So, in general, we can say a research is a process of finding a answer to our question such as when i say we want to do an online shopping we want to find the best price the best product that's a research every day we do research you know where we want to eat what we want to buy every day that's again is a research so in information science there are few trends of research for example green library information literacy digital literacy Social media, Internet of Things is a big thing right now, big data too. Mobile libraries, smartphone, this is are the trend of research in information science. So in academic research, usually we have to come up with a complete research thesis or dissertation. But it depends on how we writing it. It depends on your supervisor. But basically, usually common thesis have few chapters. For example, one first chapter is introduction literature 
pay view and sum time they uh, put proper statement in the separate chapter methodology analysis result and discussion and of course final chapter is conclusion